it does the rest. Okay, so that's where all the nutrients are. We're busy building a cover over because um, most of these nutrients don't like sunlight. The, the sunlight. Yeah, right. The UV oh. light's not good for it. So that's what we, we're busy putting a, a cover and the, over. So, so the computer basically analyzes, I mean, has uh, access to all these systems and then... Correct, correct. And I'll show the... you inside how it does it. So this is the nutrients are all kept out here. At the moment, we still mix certain elements mm. together. Um, and then we put into those tanks. When we expand in the future, we will actually separate it further. So when we upgrade this system, we'll actually separate it even further. So we'll have each individual oh, element, and then we'll say to the, give the computer the parameters to, to do everything. Things do start here by themselves, so mm -hmm. don't, <laughs> don't get scared of it. So it happens. So basically, what happens is that this unit over here is what we call a selector. So we say to the computer, these plants are, so we know they are boiling. <laughs> and so the, 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 the young seedlings, we know that they need that certain mixture. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what we program into it. And the computer will then select the right nutrient, okay? Oh, if, for, this for that specific plant. And this is a filter system. It then takes that nutrient, so there's three elements, um, the nitrates, the phosphates, and then the acid. And it blends them into these lines, and it pushes it to the right plants. So this is what sends it to the plants. Oh, and that connects all the way to the... All the way to every single dripper over there. Yeah. And th so, so here you can see it's got what we call the programs. And so we say at 6.30, valve one, so that's certain plants, okay, in that area, they must get five minutes of water on a specific dosing program. So this is what we call a dosing unit over here. So it says, I must dose this uh, recipe of fertilizers for those plants for that amount of time at that time of the day. Um, and the computer just does it. it. But what's more important is that it not only does it, but if it has a problem, it tells us it has a problem. So we can, so, so the way we measure fertilizer is what we call electroconnectivity. And effectively what it is is that you have a lot of salt in water, it has a very high electric, electrical content. And we measure the electroconnectivity of the water and we do it automatically. So this system over here, just a joke, <laughs> this system over here tells us that um, Currently, the water is sitting at an electroconnectivity of 1.9 and a pH of 5.8. Knows what's going on? I say to the, to the computer that to, going to the plants, I want the electroconnectivity to be 2.4 and the pH to be 5.8. Oh, yeah, I don't have and sense. it will adjust everything and get it to that level. Oh, yeah. And if it has a problem, it wails a siren at us. <laughs> and nice. then you can come have a look. So that's what we were busy with earlier today, was repairing the siren mm -hmm. um, and sort it all out. So this is what